All up in your anus. Oh boy, Sound oh boy. you had to keep talking while I was <laughs> All... Listen, uh, man, sometimes you got to start on a light note to yeah, go into the yeah, really dark yeah, note. You know what I'm talk, saying? The realist uh, talks. First of all, before hold on, hold on. we what's, do go... What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to TPG. What's this going is, on, everybody? This is the what's... Tangents Podcast, obviously. T- 3G. Uh, um, today, uh, whew. Uh, listen, it, we, it's, uh, been, it's been a couple weeks. Listen, listen, hold on. So before we get into uh, into the really, you know, dark shit, uh, I want to say I'm a big Zachary Levi a fan, mm-hmm. big, big fan. Um, I, I love, you know, just how he is with fans, how he is with, uh, it seems like as a human being, obviously, I don't know him on a personal level, but from everything I'm seeing, he seems like a Chuck. good human being chuck was a great series he's a very he's he's very about uh having fun acting uh he likes to be an actor as well uh um and uh he's doing this new thing he changed his nerd hq channel to called wildwood and he's gonna be doing a bunch of like short films and all these different videos around this uh, uh, land that he purchased that basically it's like a Disneyland for filmmaking. So I'm, I'm super stoked to see what he does. So I want, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta throw a shout out to that. Cause I'm pretty Here, excited. I saw the photos thing. on Instagram for Wildwood and they're dope. Like I just love here's, the lighting and, and, here's what and, I'm, here's and, what I'm, and it's, it's pretty cool. Here's so. what I'm curious about. Listen, I get like, he's a cool dude. I love Chuck. He was a really good Shazam. Um, yeah, I love them. Shazam love them as a show. I am. I don't know how interested I am in another celebrity's vlog. But it might not be I a get, vlog. I get the he's sh- calling I, them I get, short films. Yeah, well, he, so... saw, he said a lot of things. He said vlogs. He said, he said a lot. He said yeah, docu- yeah, but... documentaries about what we do here. And I was like, eh, that's just another vlog. <laughs> Uh, but if it's done well, then it's not. Uh, it, you know, there is a difference between a vlog and then somebody doing a very good of documentary course, of style course, of course. video. But I, just, I so. just don't know. Like, I, I'm gonna be interested to see the the ratio of like original content, like scripted content, versus just vlog style kind of shit. I don't know. It, it... It, it's very much like, like I like Will Smith's vlog, a because I like his personality. B, he's really just playing around with stuff. Like he really is. Yeah, just, for sure. Like, I he's mean, he genuinely. Likes to have fun. He was like, "Oh, I'm making beats now," because like I'm by myself. Yeah, but I, I think, but I think, like, but I think we're gonna see that out of Zachary too, because he loves creating. He he truly does. He just enjoys it and. uh even ever like he wasn't huge after Chuck, but even since Chuck, he's always loved creating. That's right. why he created Nerd HQ mainly because to get people together with uh, celebrities that he enjoys uh, talking with, working with, and stuff like that. So, uh, I never, yeah, man, I he's never just... understood Nerd HQ. For me, it was just like, oh, okay, like it's panels. Yeah, it's Yippity. panels that you would have to originally pay for, but you know you get to check them out on his, and it's his panel, so he gets to post it online. Not you don't always get to see those panels, right? Um, that, so you sure. know, so especially getting really like intimate with some of these stars, you know, like a lot of audience questions. You know, I, I loved always watching Nate and Fillion when he did always the the bidding wars for to you know raise money for the I think kids that are have like. Uh, issues with uh, birth defect with their face and they you know it's it's i think to it's like uh i think i forget what it's called something for a smile or something like that basically to fix their um like uh, uh mouth and stuff like that so they can actually have a proper smile and stuff like that because it can't you know they they were born with a deformed um whatever it's called i don't i don't know the exact wordage so it was always cool to see that stuff so i enjoyed nerd hq for that but uh i'm excited to see what he does with wildwood because it's completely off of that the nerd hq moved to a new channel so that stuff's going to go there where wildwood is something new so i'm excited right. and like right. i said when i saw the pictures i was like man if if you're going for like the way these pictures are if you're going for that 
with the videos, I'm stoked because I, I want to see how that looks. Because that I'm curious now. That's gonna that's gonna because the that, pictures look cool. Are they on his uh, or is there like a wildwood one? It's wildwood, yeah, it's wildwood, and uh, you'll see it. Um, wildwood Studios. I'll give him a follow. Let's let's see. We'll toss that up here. I mean, yeah, it looks like a. It, they look very cinematic, which is dope. Well, so yeah, if you, I mean, they're edited photos. They should. Well, right, but I mean, if you make, I mean, that's the beauty of fucking film. You can do the same thing with film or uh, video. So if he does the same thing with video, I'm stoked. Like, I want to see this. I want to. I want to see what this looks like because, like, so, a lot of those photos look like he's in a wonderland. Like, they look really good. So if he can make the videos look very similar and really good uh just not just visually but also as well as the entertainment factor i mean i think it's going to be a great chat so super stoked i'd throw that out there yeah that looks uh, I, I, like i said i gave it a follow i know i did not used uh used to be subscribed on gamer or whatever uh, nerd hq nerd hq uh i was not subscribed to that like i said it wasn't really my thing um, right. I kind of like it was one of those things like I had such a high expectation from him for, um, you know, him kind of dipping his toe into like the nerd space. Yeah, for sure. It, like, I mean, I thought became, there was going to be. It felt like it was such a stale thing right away. Like, oh, well, okay, not you're just... for me, but I did one more. Like, he, I felt like there was not enough. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, I was like expecting there was an... Right. Um, but it is what it is. I'm just excited to see what he does. I hope he. You know, sometimes uh, people start something and, you know, they don't go with it. You know, they start right. it, they give you a few things, you're so excited, but then they kind of just stop. So I, I hope that doesn't happen. I know he's busy. I know, you know, he's an actor, so he's going to obviously be doing Shazam and I'm sure plenty of other acting gigs. And uh, I just hope that doesn't take away from what he wants to do with the channel because uh, I am excited to see it. Um now let's switch over a little to uh, a little a little pivot. darker Fucking before we go. Pivot. Well, no, 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 no. We're gonna go a little darker before we go to the really hard pivot. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, COVID. You know, we haven't really spoken about COVID much. Uh, shit, I don't think we, you and I, have done a podcast since COVID has really no, started. No, this is this is um, our first podcast since COVID. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, COVID's been a little rough. I'm sure you know for everybody. Uh, especially if you're somebody like me, when you have a depression and uh, anxiety issues, uh, that yeah. plays real hard into that shit. Um, yeah, I'm not. I but, don't envy anyone that lives by themselves in this. Oh God, no, no, not at all. Um, I mean, I especially got, like I'm, if you're, especially if if they're like a person that doesn't have like a creative a outlet. Other, or, like or, a yeah, creative or yeah, outlet. or even a, like yeah, yeah, just or like, even a if kid. they're just like a regular person, like a regular chick or yeah. a regular dude. Yeah, like, like that just they just like on being yeah out going and, to work and, and going yeah. out and having fun with friends. Yeah. Like, um, I feel bad. I feel bad because yeah. I don't know what they're doing. You know, uh, you know but I'm out like here making short movies. What up? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, exactly. And that's I think that's what our mics are low. Our mics are low. Are we on? Are we on? Are we on that caffeine TV? We are on that caffeine TV. What's up, Uncle um, Peter? Uh, definitely um, appreciate uh, you letting us know that. Um. Let's see but, what's, uh, what mic is it using? What's it called? Uh, what is using this mic? Um, but as I was saying, is oh, it's because uh, it's, it's uh, that's using this. Mm, We're gonna go double mic I here. See, double I mic. I see. I see. Maybe you might need <laughs> to you might need to turn me up because if mics are low, that means I'm low. Um. Uh. But yeah, so you know. Yeah, with, uh, oh, I guess I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Owen Peter. Yeah, I think it's because um, mine was pushed away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I think so also with COVID nineteen, man, I gotta admit, you know, I just picked up a bike. I'm super stoked because I, 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 that's like I hate cardio, right? I love working out. Weightlifting is my thing, uh, but obviously I haven't been able to go to the gym because you know COVID nineteen. And mm -hmm. unlike uh, like a lot of people that like the gym, uh, I didn't buy equipment to prepare myself for something like this. You know. My bad. I'm an idiot, but it is what it is. Um, I was gonna uh, say if you if you if you sold you the extra wheels, you could just lift those. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? 
but I got some resistant bands, and you know I've been doing body weight workouts, but that gets stale. So for sure, I'm super happy I got this bike because uh, I hate cardio, but I love biking, and which is obviously cardio. But I hate like running. I hate really even. I, I'm not a fan of like walking a lot. Like I'll do some walking, but not. About, but I love biking because I think it's another form of like in that motorsport feel right it's another it's two wheels right it's it, it yeah has you're, that you're, you're moving. yeah you're moving yeah i'm moving so dude dude so, real talk we went to the new there's a new taco joint in addison we mm-hmm. went there they have a drive through they let people on bikes go through <laughs> hey that's what i'm talking about that's <laughs> oh, what that's funny shit so you know I, i'm loving uh i'm loving the bike uh but then like, i agree with you man it's that creative stuff right i've been thinking like what do i make videos on right i've been uh uh releasing some tool videos uh well i just did one with the light and i'm gonna do another light that i got from husky that i couldn't find a proper video review on it um and so i use these tools to work on my cars and uh you know i figure people want to know what they're like how good they work um yeah i wanted to say the only thing i would have done differently on that on the uh, led swap mm -hmm. uh is uh have them side by side that would have been the only thing i would have wanted to see uh you know i was thinking about kind of see the distance because i felt like it was brighter but it was like it was like 20 seconds ago. Do I like? Do I just not remember? Right, it right, right. right. Was... And I and I get what you're saying. And maybe next time I but will. Other, but other um, than that, other than that, great video, great great comparison. Like I, appreciate I like it. that Thank you have you. that. I like that you have that kind of marker with that 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 fence. That's really cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I always use that as a marker. That's why I wish I could have finished the the legacy because that would have given us a good. Did you marker not have because... any shots of of nighttime? Not with for it? nope, not for the new lights. So it is Damn. what it is. What are you gonna? And do? it's gone, right? He sold it. He sold it, so I don't Damn. even have access to the car anymore. So it is, you know, it really is what it is. Is um, that not but, like? Don't we have like the dude's name? Like, let's just call this dude up. <laughs> I'm sure he does, but I'm not gonna bother him. <laughs> I mean, he's got to bring it out here. I got to use that as a marker. Like, I, I have to use that as a marker because that's consistently the same, right? I can't go somewhere else and think it's the same. I see. So, I, see, I, I don't um, know. I thought you were. I thought you were doing something. I I didn't know that was the spot. That's literally right there. Yeah. So. Uh, but I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the video, man. And uh, I guess, you know, there's a lot of people watching it. Uh, you know, uh, I've, I've already had a few interactions with it. I love it. I'm, I'm super happy with it. Um, I That's like the video up. overall. Um, I'm still trying to get, you know, I'm, I'm having a tough time. It's weird. So when I use head, I use headphones to edit. So do you. Right. And uh, when I'm using the headphones and I overlay the music over the voice talking, it sounds like the music is loud. But then when you play it on speakers, it doesn't, it barely sounds like it's there. So it's just, it's so hard. What's your, to... what's your headset? Like, what's your volume set to when you're, when you're editing? Uh, the, I mean, similar, like I said, like I, I, I pay attention to the, vo I pay attention to the sound adjuster in Premiere, uh, but then it's always the same either way. It doesn't matter. So like when I'm listening to it, when I'm listening to the voiceover while listening mm -hmm. to the music all at the same time, it sounds super loud. Shit, even when when I watch the video on my phone after I uploaded YouTube on headphones, it music sounded loud. But then when I watched it on speakers, I was like, that music is super loud on fucking headphones. Why can I barely hear it on speakers? So well, it's weird. I'm that, still well, trying that's, to get that's, used to that's that's that why works. I asked what what do you set your vo like your actual output volume on your computer to when you're editing? when your headphones like I, I keep mine super low and then i can tell like where my baseline right, but, is right but that, that, that doesn't matter because the 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 audio wouldn't change from like i watched the same video on headphones after i uploaded on video after i upload on youtube on headphones it sounds exactly how i wanted it to on speaker it doesn't so like even if that was the case like i'm gonna have that to, difference gonna, is still I'll have there. To listen to it tomorrow that's interesting you have to you have to because it's weird usually I don't, i'm I don't listening on headphones so like but uh i do have to admit with you know what COVID, I, I i'm super happy that i'm one of those people that got into creating because that's been a great outlet to not focus on how i can't do things 100%. uh it's uh you know it's huge so and then of course the biking the biking's uh big i, I love being uh active uh you know yeah weightlifting is my thing but uh 
if I can't do that, I can at least bike. And, and like you said, you know, I'm moving, uh, you know, the, the biking is like a similarity to, you know, my car stuff and motorcycles and stuff like that. So yeah, man. I got to admit, man, if, if you guys are out there and you're having issues, well, obviously it's getting lifted with this COVID-19, but you guys got to realize, I get it. Listen. I, I understand with these people that are like, oh, you're taking away from my money. You're taking away from my business. Uh, you know, the shutdown is uh, not right. You know, you're, you're, you're ruining lives. Here's the thing. Yes, your business is affected. But let's say, okay, you're the one that's been complaining, right? You're like, open the damn place up. I'm protesting, blah, blah, this and that, right? Okay, cool. You don't know that you have COVID-19, but you do. Right. But you don't give a shit because it's not affecting you. But now you go home and you get your mom sick and you don't realize that you have COVID-19 and now she's really sick. Now yeah. she dies. Do I feel bad for you? Does anybody feel bad for you? Do you feel bad for you? I mean, everybody's going to be feel bad for your mom because, you know, you were the asshole that did it to her. But yeah. does anybody feel bad for you? Because, you know, it didn't matter to you. You weren't going to be sick. You weren't going to be affected, right? So here's the thing. I feel you. My, wi my wife, she's a, she's, a, she's a business owner. She has no business. She has no money. Zero. None. She barely got approved for the small business loan. Uh, L.A. Lakers got, I don't know, a stupid amount of money, but she got declined a few times before she finally got approved. Um and uh so i get it I, I understand now luckily she's her only employee she doesn't have employees she's a wedding photographer so you know that on that sense she lucks out so and she her business is from home she doesn't have a studio that she owns uh at the moment right so she lucked out she can squeeze through with a little bit she got from the small business loan or whatever it's called so i get it it's rough you know you lose businesses are losing businesses they're losing their that's it. They were losing their up. company. Yeah, their they're shop. closing up just because I get it. It's harsh. It sucks. Um, shit, it sucks for me because I'm one of those people that does, uh, you know, I, I rely on my, my, my thing relies on me being out because I got I go to racetracks. I want to be around cars. I want to be in cars. I want to. And all that is going to be affected because of COVID-19. But I also understand that I have a wife and my wife's mom and my mom and my sister and my niece and nephew, even though kids aren't being affected, they can be affected. Just because they're not getting it doesn't mean they can't be affected. This is this 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 doesn't give a shit about age. So I know that they can be affected. So just because I know that I won't ever be that sick or I won't die or I have this feeling that I won't, but I don't know, obviously, until it happens, I have no idea. That doesn't mean I want to put them at risk or other people that might be around me that I don't know at risk. So just because I want to go outside, just because I want to go somewhere, just because I am mad that my wife's not uh, having any money, doesn't mean that this isn't reality. It doesn't mean that fucking people ain't dying. Like, right. it's just, that's, that's what it is, man. Like, it sucks. It sucks either way. There's no, like, like, you know, there's always the argument, well, let the people that want to go out, let the people that want to work and have be open, be open. And the people that want to stay, well, here's the thing. In a perfect world, that works. We don't live in a perfect world. We live in a shitty world. And because we live in a shitty world, that doesn't work. So as right. soon as the government says, yeah, cool, everybody can be open and whoever wants to work can work and who doesn't, doesn't. Well, guess what? Now companies are like, well, he's willing to work. And you're not. Sorry. Goodbye. We'll get somebody that does. Right. Because most companies will follow suit. They won't follow, like, what's right, right. or wrong. Most companies. Now, there are some good companies, but that's a rarity. Most companies don't give a shit. Oh, okay. It's all good. Boom. We're just going to either work or you're done. Goodbye. We don't give a fuck if, you, if you're worried about your safety. Because that's just how it is. There right. is no 100%. middle ground. So, right, there's one extreme or the other. And that's the unfortunate thing. Now, you know, there's no right answer, unfortunately. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying, like, there are the the, the two, there are the two things. And so which one's the right, neither one's the right answer. You just have to understand that 
there's two uh, there's two uh, extremes, but which one is going to be the the right extreme to take, or more right than the other? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but you know, uh, outside of that. Uh, if you're, you know, losing your mind and you're still worried about this and you're going to stay home and even after we're allowed to leave, you're still going to stay home. You know, I all I can say is try to, you know, do things that keep you busy and keep your mind off of it. I know it's hard. It's uh, stupid hard. Uh, but, you know, do what you can. Uh, it's fuck yeah, it is the best advice it's fu- I can. It's funny, give. man. Like, there's so many things. Like, I, ha- I have a list of things that I could be doing around the house, and there, there. I literally, I went to the bathroom one day, and I was like, I can knock out this like replacing the 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 sink and the cabinet and the mirror. I can knock that out in a day. Real oh yeah, quick. like especially can... now. Yeah, right. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You can't like, go anywhere anyway. But it's like, I don't want to. Like, I know right, I can. for sure, yeah. I, know I, can, I mean, yeah. But all I want to do is go somewhere else. I want to, I want nothing more than to leave my home area. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, I didn't want to paint my garage ceiling, but I did it. I forced myself. I, I you know, I, I, my mother in law asked me if I want to do it, and I said, yeah, I'll do it. You know, I, what am I going to do? I can't go anywhere, I don't have any plans. Of course, like, yeah, I can be lazy and just sit in the house, play some games or whatever, but right. this way, I'm, guess what? I wasn't thinking about how I can't leave the house. I was just like, fuck, I got to fucking paint this ceiling. It was a bitch. It was a pain in the ass, but right, garage looks better, you know? It's, it's just, it just looks a little better. Not great, but it looks better than unpainted. So. That's all it yeah. is. That's, That's all it is. At the end of the day, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta a little force brick. yourself. You know, you got a little, get it, get it, give you a little self, you know, a push and do what you can type of deal. hundred percent. I started my, uh, started my workouts today. You know, I woke up, it wasn't anything crazy. I, I did some, uh, right off the, literally right before, like before I even exited the bed, I did some, uh, some like crunches off the edge of the yeah. bed yeah. and then, uh, I did some squats, three yeah. sets. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing, right? So on my days off, I'm taking every advantage on nice days where there's no rain. I get on my bike and I ride minimum of 10 miles. If I can do, as soon as I get that new seat, because this seat is fucking killing my ass. Like, <laughs> I don't give a shit what anybody says. It's destroying. I don't, my, I don't, I don't know, know how. How do people, people ride those smaller seats? ones. Think about that. How people do, how do people seats. ride those seats? Bro, how do they ride? I don't know. How, do, how does their asshole, like, how do they not have, like, scabs on their asshole from sitting on know, that bro. seat? Bro, come on, man. That just, I don't that's, know what to tell you, man. It's, it's, it's definitely crazy. It's not my type. Uh, tell you so that. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a new seat coming. As soon as that comes in, I'm going to, my maximum push every day. Or at least every day I can wake up in time to have enough time before work. And then, of course, on my days off, you I want to do that actually 20 makes me, miles. That makes me really happy. I'm, I'm glad you're doing that before work. I know you you before, and obviously this new schedule is helping out. But like, oh, yeah. um, I know but before you were hesitant to do anything. Before. Oh, yeah, dude, because like, I would I just wake up. And I go up. To work. Like, that's, yeah, that's I would just get up. But I'm trying to push myself mentally just to like – I don't know. You know, if I wake up, I wake up. If I don't, it is what it is. Like, I can't control that. You know, that's just where it's at. Uh, but if I do wake up, I try to just, you know, I enjoy the bike riding outside of the hurtful seat. <laughs> like, I, I enjoy I enjoy the bike ride. So I it, if I can, I if it. I can. I wish I, I, can, I, wish I had oh, done yeah. it more when I was younger. I like, I wish I hadn't have broken that first bike that I had when we were in high school. And if I think if I hadn't have broken that. I I think I would have kept riding. Oh, dude, it's because we so, had fucking fun. We had dude, fun. we used to we 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 rode all the way to that Joe Osco, pick up some comics. Um, we would, I mean, we would walk over there too, but yeah. we would bike like we would bike a lot, man. I used to a, bike yeah, all the time, and then just, I, and then I, was, I got into high school and got a car, and then I stopped biking, and I right. was just like. And now you well, get yeah, older. You can get, you can get farther faster. <laughs> yeah, and now now you get older, and you're like, shit, it's a good workout. Maybe I should go back to biking. Right. So, 
um, for sure. You know, it's, for it's sure. shit like that. But yeah, man, if you're if you're stuck, try to try to find something you like. If running ain't your thing, maybe biking is. You know, maybe you know. There's all different kinds of try skateboarding. I don't know. You know, you never know. You might enjoy something. Rollerblading. You know? Rollerblading. You never know, man. Yeah. You never know. It might. It might surprise you what you might enjoy doing and stuff like that. Make a project for yourself, you know? Maybe you got some stuff to do around the house and stuff like that. Or maybe you don't have stuff to Dude, do, but you'd like deck. to get something. I don't want to do it, but I, I fucking, I got to do it. I, like, I have to get rid of this fucking hot tub this year. It's oh, got to happen. Gotta There's go, just no way it's around It's got to go, man. It's got to go. We've got most of it out of there, so it's just. Yeah, the guts are gone. The guts, yeah, but the it's guts are like gone. The, we it's literally it just going to be just probably two hours of shredding it with the fucking yeah with the the sawzall well i mean if we can get the whole thing in the front somebody will take it for sure no it's not metal oh well yeah i thought maybe i thought maybe somebody would just take it because most likely not the fiber class is is good it's not cracked or anything but yeah, now let's go into the one topic that I couldn't sleep over. Uh, that we had to do this podcast at so late at night. Me, By the way, if anybody's listening to and not watching us live, which is virtually anybody that's listening to it, right. we're recording this at one thirty-four a.m. Central Time because I couldn't sleep, man. I just I, like I'm tired, but I can't stop thinking about it. I don't know if you heard. I, I left some uh, on our WhatsApp group. I left some voice memos for the fellas. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because here's I here's the th- here's the thing. I, let me let me let me start this off real quick. I had I unfriended a dude today. I have on Facebook. I I have done my absolute best to try to be like, hey, there are two sides. I am willing to hear the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, absolutely. You gotta, you and gotta. So I, so I have, you have, I have to be open minded. You exactly. can't be single minded. I have purposely not like blocked myself off from that side. I have not. I purposely not like completely eliminated people who are conservatives and that kind of shit. Like people who like there's to my, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with conservatives. There right. is a lot of fucking things wrong with racists. Okay, and 100%. when yeah. I get to a yeah, point absolutely. where. Uh, my mother-in-law posted a thing on my Facebook, and it said uh, it was talking about the the thing in New York, the Central Park thing. The the guy from Marvel Comics who uh, was recording that woman, who he asked her to leash her dog, which is a law. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Which at is the, a at fucking the, law. At the, at the, and I don't understand uh, why that's a thing. Central yeah, yeah, yeah. Park. At the at the park, the bird park. Yeah, yeah. That was fucking crazy. Like it's a law. I comp- well, Just do obviously, it. obviously, you gotta you gotta think about this though. I already forgot about that because of the craziness that just happened. So like that already because this is even more evil than that right that like she says i'm not racist bitch you're on video doing something extremely racist For, like not only not only did she call the police she called the she police lied. acting like he was attacking her yeah legit. i was like this bitch needs to go to jail i'm saying dude that is a these uh like, fuck that bitch. there's got to be a law against that like you are Dude, falsely accusing somebody bitch. of an act like that's got to be a law. Like, but it, so my, my mother-in-law posts a posts a thing on, on my Facebook, and mm-hmm. the title of it says "Survivor of Racist Incident in Central Park," and this dude who I went to high school with, like he moved down south, shockingly, a long time ago. Shockingly. <laughs> and listen, I'm gonna move down. I'm not gonna move down south, but one day I'll have a second home down south. But that doesn't mean I'm all of a sudden becoming a goddamn and racist. He's, he's or, been or... he's been of a particular opinion about a lot of things for a long time. You know, when right. it was Black Lives Matter, he had some shit to say. When it right. was when it was uh, a minimum wage, he had some shit to say. Oh, that guy! And then, <laughs> I know who you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this time he's uh, like okay. survivor. And I just responded to him, like, if you need this explained to you, you haven't been paying attention for the last 72 hours. <sighs> and he says, don't hurt yourself because you're stretching so far. Like, saying that that statement was a stretch. I'm like, you're a fucking waste of energy. And I was just like, you're so ingrained in the deep, far right, blindly, that you might as well fucking wear swastikas. 
Like I'm you, saying. you don't have an opinion, bro. I mean, like, I you asked have, you. I asked you don't you, have an educated you. opinion. You are just in. You were just ingrained in a belief system. So to verify, to verify, is this the same guy that said like, uh, uh, as long as you can afford to eat? Yep, that's and... the one. Okay, so I asked you, why are you friends with this guy? Because he already like the mentality he had about money and people getting paid for a certain job. And what they should be able to do and shouldn't do, what um, what their what job they're doing, like I already was like, I never want to be around this human being, no. let alone try to have a fucking conversation no. with him, because you he... can tell that there was he only thinks one way, yeah, one way, and that's it. You could never, this human being would never be able to sit down and have a proper conversation to see both sides, mm -hmm. even still have his opinion, mm -hmm. but see both sides. That human being cannot do that. No. No way. No. Yeah. In front of him. Because it's, 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 let's say, let's say this was so infrequent that like yeah. once a year something happened and there sure. was video and, you know, some lady but even calling once the year. cops. Right. Some but lady calling the cops and it happened right. once a year and it was very infrequent. Right. And maybe then I could, I could stand. Yep. Maybe, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, what are you doing over here? Don't what are you switch doing? Nothing. Don't switch nothing. Don't switch shit. I touch the mic and it's like, God ah, damn do you want to switch don't audio stop devices? Stop touching shit. God uh, damn it. <laughs> maybe then I would I would suffer fools like that needing an explanation right. of like I don't get it. Why would like you know? Right. But this shit happens all the fucking time. It does. All it does. the fucking time. It does. It ha by the way by the way, the two incidents we're talking about today, there's not even that wasn't even all of them. There were at least three right, right, right. Oh, in yeah, 72 for sure. hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. In, in 72 hours, right? right. That's the problem. Um, this shit the is not, the, this the, shit is the, not the, rare. The, this shit is not like, this shit is not like no, no, word of not, mouth. This shit is documented. No, documented. No, not, well, that's the thing. And so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, yeah, the park, I mean, that alone, I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with this lady, right? I'm just sitting there and I'm like, Really? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. I just, I didn't and have an all answer. All he did for, right? was I'm ask like, her I'm to sitting... abide by yeah. the law. Yeah, like he straight up simply oh asked God. that the sign says dogs have to be on leashes. Yeah. Please have your dog on a leash. The guy, I mean, even when you watch the video, the guy just sounds like, uh, uh, he's uh, calm. Uh, calm. He's just, he's not angry. He's not he's raising not... his voice. Yeah. No, I would be flipping i would be flipping i Dude, would literally two, you two know responses me, back from that bitch i'd have been like bitch i swear to god <laughs> bro you know me you know it with, with this issue that i have and do that's and, hilarious and, and, i'm like and, i can't speak about shit no more man. and i don't i, I don't i don't shit, hide right? i don't hide my issue but i don't talk about it on social media right i don't talk about it in videos a lot but I, I never hide from it right i never hide the issues that i have i have depression anxiety and according to my doctors i might have well, one of them said I have bipolar type 2, but the most recent one, since that guy retired, he said I have something else that could be considered like a smaller thing with the, with the anger, right? So you know I raise my voice. I raise my voice without even realizing you that almost, I'm raising because I get you almost, excited. You almost beat me with a fucking bro, stapler. I, I, you pissed me off so that bad, was such bro. A, that I was, was such an insane. beat your ass. Dude, I use that but as listen. an example. I use that as an, as an example yeah, when we talk about yeah, like how yeah. to rephrase your shit. <laughs> yeah, for I'm like, sure. I'm like, I, mean, I yeah. knew what I was saying the whole time. Oh, for sure. And I sure, just dude. didn't understand why you weren't here. Yeah, because yeah, you weren't saying it right. <laughs> so, so you know me, man. I lose my shit. So if that bitch did that to me, I'll fucking uh, yeah the cops would probably arrest my ass because i would have fucking lost it like dude, even though i would have still been fact, in the, the right fact that i would have lost as it. calm as he did dude props to that dude, man props to that champion man. he's a Fuck marvel me. writer or editor like props dude like, that man is a fucking saint literal also saint also because... sh shameful like sucks sucks on his end even more that that bitch shares a last name with him no, oh, dude, what? I didn't even. Yeah, what? they're both. They're no, both. Their last name are Cooper. Like I was like, are you oh, fucking kidding fuck, me? That sucks, man. Oh man. Um. Listen. Uh. So that was an issue, but. Uh, this George thing, man. Um. 
Listen, I'm literally just. There's I nothing to be said, anymore. dude. There's nothing to be said. I, I was walking. I was watching the the clips. I was watching Philip DeFranco talking about so, it. So hold on. Let me the... let me let me let me put it in perspective, right? So I heard George Floyd, right? And I was like, what? Well, you know what? So okay, um, cops killed another black man. That fucking sucks. What the fuck, right? But then I was like, let me look it up, right? Let me let me let me see what's up. And I got a quick clip. Of Wait, hold the on, hold on, hold being... on. I just really really quick, really quick. I just want... you 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 went ahead and you educated yourself. You didn't like call a black person and say, "Hey, like, once you like catch me up on this, so I can understand it." You just like went out and did it yourself. Yeah, no, yeah, I did a, I did a that's, proper human thing. Man, that's next level. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Apparently, oh, well, from what I'm understanding on the internet, from what I, uh, that's fucking difficult for people. Uh, uh, Sorry, apparently, go ahead. Apparently, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I see what you're saying. I didn't think it was that difficult, but you know, yeah, I used Google. <laughs> Uh, and so I searched and somebody had a clip, but it wasn't the full clip. So, you know, I saw a man on the ground and another man f full body weight with his fucking knee on the back of this man's neck. And people are yelling at the cop. Right. Man on his back. And that's, was, and that's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But the video, yo, know, for sure. But when I, when, when you see the video from this angle, you just see him on the, on the neck. Right. Right. And so I'm like, okay, um, I still don't know what's going on, but that's fucked up, right? The man's clearly saying, I can't breathe, I can't fucking breathe. And that, but it was a quick clip. Then I watched Philip DeFranco, and he shows more of it. And there's a fucking firewoman, obviously off duty, but it doesn't fucking matter. And she says, get off of him. She says, check his pulse. And they're just not reacting. They're yeah, not. They're the only there. way they're reacting is like these by. Uh, 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 what, what's the word I'm looking for? Bystanders are somehow gonna hurt them, so they start grabbing shit off their belts, like something's about to go down. Yeah, right. Like they're about to kill some bitches because you know these bystanders. That motherfucker are doing some... mace. I was like, bro, why don't bro, you get I'm the si fuck off this dude? Like, a, there's four of you. B, he's on the ground here's handcuffed. The, here's here's I the thing. I can't get up and, off and, the ground and this is, with my and hands this... free. This, this is, this is, and this is where I want to get. There's four of them, right? Minimum, from what I know, there's four right, of them. Right, it was two, two One cars. of those, one of those motherfuckers is with his knee, with full body weight on his neck. The man say, and he's handcuffed. The man is saying, I cannot breathe. You're killing me. What the fuck is the problem with just sitting him up? What is he going to do? He's handcuffed. There's four of you with guns. What is he going to do? You can't just Dude, let him sit up. What's 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 really truly this But here's the other like, thing. So a... I don't so we don't know the full story, right? But here's we do. What we do. It was a fucking well, drunk yeah, yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah, sure, over. sure. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even that. He got originally it got called for a fraudulent supposedly fraud cuz he gave a check that possibly bounced at a store. So that's what they called him on for. In what world? In what? fucking world do you grab a man out of his car put him against the wall and then pin him down with your fucking knee over his head for a possible fraudulent check in what world apparently this bro one. bro i had my credit card stolen no cops were in fucking involved in finding who the fuck that who stole it but you pull this man out of his car, you put it, there's, you know, I don't know if you saw the extra angles from, yeah. like, cameras around. They put him against the wall first. He sat down, like, he slid down the wall. He sat down, clearly not fighting back. And then they get him to the car, and they get him on the ground and put it, because somehow he's resisting arrest. He's already in fucking cuffs. It's like, what, when's he resisting arrest? He's yeah, already I'm pretty sure when you're in cuffs, you're, you're under arrest. Yeah. So I'm sitting here. And I'm watching this and I'm disgusted. And to, literally, I, I woke up today uh, and that's all I could think about. All I could think about is what is happening that it's 2020 and we have human beings that for some reason, if you're not my skin color, we react differently to you. I mean, I don't. Because I see human beings. I don't give a shit what color you are. If you're a dick, you're a dick. I don't care what you are. You right. know, you know, I don't if you're an asshole, you're an asshole and I'm gonna treat you like an asshole. But if you're a normal human being like everybody else, you're a human being to me. 
I don't give a shit. Like, I have a half-black niece. I, I, I literally told our boys, I said, if something happened to her, I love her to death. I really do. Like, I'm pretty sure I would commit murder if somebody did something to her. It's almost certain. Like, I don't think I would think twice. I think people would try to stop me, and I would do it, and I would go to jail. It's not what anybody would want, but I would do it. Because if you did something like that, or any, like, a, a perfect example, uh, I think it was two years ago, Philip DeFranco did a story about a kid in, like, I don't know, like, fourth grade or some shit. And he was being bullied and being bullied because he was mixed. And these kids that bullied him so much had a rope somehow around a fucking tree, a noose, and told him to hang himself. And he did. Luckily, he was saved because somebody saw him and they saved him. If that was my niece, I would find these kids' parents and it would be game over. It'd be game over for me, too, but it'd be game over. Because that's the only way they learned this shit. They learned right. this shit from what they were. Don't get me wrong. I, I do believe that some shit's learned, and I do believe some people are just born evil. Some people are. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Some people are just born with a messed up head, and they just want to hate and hurt. They are. Some people are taught. Yeah. Some people are born that way. But, bro, this, watching this, and just going through my head all day today like i like i told our guys uh, i said uh you know i told them i'm sorry i told them i'm sorry because i didn't know what else to say um i the world you know there's there's a little bit in this world that you can see and it's so good that it, it would put a smile on most people's faces like david dobrik just did a thing where he um he, he, he wrote on a dollar bill a secret message. He yeah, signed it and he gave it to that. a cashier. And whoever found it got 10 grand. And finally, this girl, I mean, you could see how she was shaking because she was so grateful that he gave her $10,000. And that, dude, I almost cried how, how awesome that was. But then something like this happens where, like, another human being didn't realize what they were doing to another human being because of a fucking difference in skin color. Oh no, I think I, I, and I, I and then just I think it's like I, I think I disagree with you there because I think he realized fully what he was doing. I think no, no, I know, but I'm, I think that's he was what I'm exerting that's what power. I, I think he was exerting uh, his, his his his. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Uh, no, 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 that's was. what I'm saying. That he would do this because this man is a different skin yeah, color. Yeah, dude, I guarantee yeah. you. If that um, was me, he wouldn't I just, have done that. It just uh, it takes away any goodness that I see. I forget any goodness that I see. It, the scale, the and scale, I it's see hard, it's hard to balance those scales. It really is hard to balance those because scales. Because what David Dobrik shit. did, what David Dobrik did, was amazing. That's cool. But this, but this evil is beyond that. It's beyond that tenfold. It crushes that amazingness that he did. If that it's so that amazingness that he's did is so irrelevant to this evil that it just makes me think like there's not you could do fifty one percent of the population can do so much good, and the other forty nine percent, even if it's ten percent of that forty nine percent does something like this, that fifty one percent doesn't fucking matter worth shit. And I just don't get it, man. I don't understand it. I don't fucking understand. And and right now, I don't know if you saw the newest Philip DeFranco episode, but apparently, um, so they were fired, right? Right. Oh, whoop the fucking do. But apparently, the judge that's running this fucking fiasco, he's like, well, you know, this was wrong. Nine minutes on his neck, it was wrong. But I'm here to deduce if, you know, there was a criminal activity happening here if it was outside the law and i don't know if i can say there was and i'm like what are you watching in what world right when a man is telling you that you're killing him is it okay for you to continue to do what you're doing right the especially the as a fact, police officer the, the, the real fact that that they're having to like and how, so there might how be can no we target. get them off right as opposed to yeah. How do we and put so, them in jail? And so and so there might not be 
there might be no charge no charges um if they're not char- dude if um, they're not charged bro, bro M- minneapolis is going to burn this is this this is the minimum All okay of them. the minimum the man that killed another man deserves life in prison period done i don't give a shit what the original sentences are for murder he deserves a life in- he killed that man on that's purpose. murder one murder one murder 100%. one the other accomplices that didn't take that man off of him, they were perfectly fine with what was going on. Well, you had the, one, you deserve... had the one dude that was standing there, like, controlling the crowd. Yeah. He's an accomplice. The other two are, are the other two were on him. They yeah. were helping him hold him down. Also, the man that was on his neck and the dude that was controlling the crowd both have complaints registered against them multiple times. Mm-hmm. So, clearly, they're dickheads, right? So... No charges? Minneapolis is going to burn. I swear to fucking God, if there's no charges, I hope the earth burns the ground. Because what's the point then? What's the fucking if, point? If they don't... And dude... Because I this, truly this don't is, know. I mean, I know it is... sounds negative. I know it sounds negative. I know people are going to sit there and do it like you're being... What is it? Pessimistic? What, whatever however no, you dude, say this is you're eerily... being negative no i'm not being negative how is this okay you cannot and then people sit here and fucking try to argue with me about the man i, I always forget his name but the guy the nfl player for kneeling during a fucking national anthem really you're sitting here bitching to me that that's not okay but you think there's something okay with this what's okay with this this man was in cuffs. This man was pleading. He was begging to get off his neck because he couldn't fucking breathe. And then he stopped breathing. He was unresponsive and he still stayed on his neck until the fucking fire department and ambulance showed up. And you can see in the video that Phil DeFranco was showing, the, the full footage of it, mm-hmm. the guy was not moving. They literally no. were trying to hold his head. He was done. He's gone. He's gone. There's no way that he had a pulse at that moment. I don't give a shit if the – oh, and, 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 and it's funny. I, I, there was a website. Oh, the, the coroner or whatever the fuck they're called releases a statement about the death. No, they didn't. They didn't release shit, but that fucking stupid-ass clickbait title because they were like undetermined causes. Like, So they didn't release shit. But the determined causes that he fucking died because there was a full-bodied motherfucker on his neck. I just – the thing is, it if, doesn't if there matter. No, if there are, the if there cause are no of death charges. doesn't matter. He, I don't give all a I give shit. A fuck, yeah. He could have died of COVID-19. I don't give yeah. a shit. The point is, any chance at life that man had stopped the fucking moment that the police officer who had his fucking knee to his neck stopped at, listening to him. I just... Uh, stopped doing his job to dude, protect. Yeah, he did Yeah, he didn't listen. He... That man was black, and he didn't listen to him. That man was pleading, and he didn't give. Like, dude, did you see his face? No fucks were given on that face. No. Zero. He no. Did that not dude, hear there's something human. wrong with that he, man. He did not hear anybody around him, the, the bystanders, because almost certainly they were probably black, right? So he was probably not listening to them. No, not all of them. You could see. There were no, no. Oh, yeah, for sure. But For sure. But I'm just saying, I'm sure some of them were, right? So he wasn't listening. But then to not listen to a firewoman that's off duty? The fuck is that about? What's going on? And then you just look at him, dude. He's just looking around, like no fucks given, like his blank ass expression, like yep. he doesn't care. Something wrong with him. That there's something broken inside him. Fuck that dude. I just fuck that dude. I'm not. Listen, I'm man, not interested. Just, I'm not interested just, in no no commuted sentence. I'm not interested no, in no, no absolutely not. He if goes listen to, to me, jail, listen to me. Murder one. Or nothing. Fuck Listen him. to me. Fuck uh, him. If, if, burn his fucking house down if he doesn't. Go if, to jail. if there is no sentence, or even if there is a sentence, but it's just not significant, because dude, he goes for life in my opinion. He At forfeited. The, I've always told you this. If this they is have death my, penalty. This is, they put him out. Uh, th- exactly. You've you me and you have discussed this multiple times, and this yeah. is probably an unpopular opinion, but here it is. Okay, I'm gonna say this once and for all. If you take on purpose somebody's life, you have forfeited your life. Whatever goes from there for your life is the choice of anybody around you. Yep. If I show up 
and I don't like what you did, you murdering that man, and you didn't get convicted, doesn't matter. I get to shoot you, and it doesn't matter because you decided to forfeit your life when you took that man's life. Yep. That's how I see it. I know it's an 100%, unpopular opinion, 100%. but the minute, the minute you, you decide stand by to that, take because you said you said if something happened to your niece, you would you would fucking kill somebody, yeah. and you would and you would go to jail for it. Yeah. Fuck it. I mean, they could kill me. I don't give a shit. But at the end but of the day, but I will. Yeah, I will but that's, kill, but that's I will. a decision you made. Yeah, a hundred percent. We were talking they, about uh, they did something that they shouldn't have done. We we were watching um, um, a movie or a TV show or something. I forget what we were watching. And uh, no, it was Grey's Anatomy. Erica was watching Grey's Anatomy. I was watching mm, it with her. Yeah. And there was an episode where uh, this woman uh, basically got into an argument with her husband, and dressed up and like went out drinking, right. and got slipped something and got raped and beaten and she's like what would you do i was like there's a lot of recording devices in this house so i'm gonna go ahead and abstain from saying what i would do but i would be gone for a weekend uh it'd be a boys weekend and um we'd come I back honest, i <laughs> honest to god i don't care who's listening or what here's the thing. Like, you don't here's the thing oh here's the thing people you know will say um you know, you're not black, so you'll never understand what we go through. You're right in the sense that uh, I don't understand the constant harassment that you might be getting from certain people. However, I don't have to be black to understand what's right and wrong. I don't have to be black to understand um, how to treat a human being and how not to treat a human being. Right. None of those things are um, a credential of one ethnicity. Anybody that is a human being, I don't give a fuck what color you are, you are human. Right. We bleed the same way. We get shot, we get stabbed, we get choked out. Everything happens the same way. We talk. Some of us might know different languages, but at the end of the day, we know how to communicate. We know how to think the same. Some of us are a little smarter, but that's that. So I don't have to be a certain ethnicity to understand the right and wrong of something being harassed constantly because of your skin color there's nothing right about that racism back in the day i don't have to be a fucking genius to understand that's wrong i mean shit when i was nobody ever nobody First of all, ever what do you back in the day there's plenty of racism stuff. well yeah i mean the, i'm talking about i'm talking about the bad right i'm talking about where there's segregation and like be fucking you couldn't drink out of the same fucking fountain you couldn't go right. i'm talking about that kind of racism you don't have to tell me that's wrong right so back back in high school like nobody ever told me even in high school let's be real i mean do you ever remember anybody talking about how racism was bad in high school they talked about racism but they never talked about how it was bad how it's wrong no right? and that, ever... that is that is that i will say that I, i've never thought about it but you make a very valid point right the way we teach american history we do not teach the inherent negativity of what happened we just teach just what teach happened. what happened we right teach the facts we so, don't teach so we don't talk about this was the wrong fucking thing to right. do so so here's the thing back in the day uh junior or senior year uh we were reading um Fuck, what is it? One of the one of the popular books you would read in English class and you know, the the teacher asked us to each student to read certain sections out loud. Mm -hmm. And in the book they talk about black people with the N word. Okay. Once again, was it was I've a never I don't know if it was Huck Finn. I think it was something else. I th I feel like it was like um what was the what's the book with like Soches and 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 was it Pony Boy? You talking about the Outsiders? Maybe it was the Outsiders. I don't know. It was oh, one no, of no, those no. Pony Boy, Pony Boy. Um, you're talking about um, oh my God, To Kill a Mockingbird. No, I, Pony Boy is Outsiders. Pony is Boy it? is Outsiders. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But regardless, it's one of those books, and they were using the N word in the book. Okay, so. Just so you're aware, nobody ever in my life, nobody has ever said the N-word's wrong. Nobody ever in my life has said, don't treat 
different people like this, right? I'm not saying my parents were bad. I'm just saying nobody ever said that to me directly, not even teachers. Even like I said, we just said it. Teachers talk about history. Right. They never talk about what's wrong with it, right? Right. So we get to the point where we're reading, and I see it, and I'm looking at my teacher, and I'm like, I'm not going to say that, and I skip it. I knew that inherently on my own. Now, is it due to watching TV and movies and seeing that that was used in a negative way? Possibly. I don't know. It's very possible that that's where my subconscious got that from. And then when I started reading it, it clicked, and consciously, right? it but it clicked. You didn't it clicked. Have to fucking, knowing that, you, yeah, you didn't knowing need to be, that you didn't that need to be convinced. Word, yeah, I didn't have to be convinced that I don't want to say that word. I didn't have to be told you don't have to say that word. I told my teacher, I don't give a shit if we're reading this book out loud and it's in the book. I'm not going to read it out loud, right? Now, I will argue the fact, I, I've always argued this, right? If you have, if you're a songwriter, if you're a rapper, a hip-hop artist, whatever, and you use the N-word, and somebody's singing your songs that they ha not happen to be black, they happen to be white or whatever, and they say the word, that's on you. It's not on them. I will always say that. I will always agree that. That is on you. You don't want that word used. You don't put it in your fucking lyrics, and they don't sing it, period. Done. Okay? This world is already dumb enough you really believe that people are going to be like me where they realize, oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't say that word because they're in the moment. They're in the moment and singing the fucking song. No. I was in the moment of reading the book, and I realized personally not everybody's like that. Right. I'm not saying I'm a perfect human being. By far, I'm nowhere near perfect shit. I'll be lucky if I'm anywhere decent. But at the end of the day, I knew not – I didn't want to read that because I knew there was something wrong with it. I didn't have to be told there was something wrong with it, but I knew there was something wrong with it, and I didn't want to say it, okay? So at the right. end of the day, I knew better. Even though I've heard that word, shit, I've heard that word around people that I was around saying it as a joke, right? And I still didn't use it in while reading that book because I knew better. Right. Because I fucking, I just knew better. We should, there's, at the end of the day, if you're a human being and you look at another human being, I don't give a fuck what they believe, what skin color they are. If you see anything else outside of a human being, there is something wrong with you. I'm telling you right now, yeah. there is something wrong with you. 100%. Because the, everybody on this planet, I'll, I don't give a fuck if they're different skin color or maybe their features are different. They are human beings. There's a main difference between what a human being is and what a fucking animal is. And that's it's just, just, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand how four fucking cops are sitting there and, and this shit is happening. And don't get me wrong. Here's the thing. I get it. I get this example right now is not going to matter because I'm white. But cops abuse their power 24-7. We saw that cop. I called it out to you when we were driving my car. I said, hey, there's a cop behind me following us. We pulled in your driveway. I dropped you off. I, we, I stayed there for a little bit. I got in my car and left. That same cop was down the street where he turned right and was sitting there. He goes on the opposite way of me. He saw my car. He saw that he followed me before. After I passed the stop sign, he turns around and says I crossed the yellow line. No, he was abusing his power because he was trying to get me a ticket or at least a warning, which he gave me a warning. He didn't know who was in there. I don't know if he saw if I was white or not, but he pulled me over because he wanted to do whatever he wanted to do, right? Right. Cops abuse their power a lot. I'm not saying all cops do it. Don't get me wrong. I know there's good cops out there, but the unfortunate problem here is, is there's a lot of fucking shitty cops. So that little bit, like I said before, any little bit of good gets destroyed by this fucking evil that we keep watching right. on a fucking consistent basis. And it's consistent enough anymore, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Hundred percent, bro. Come on. I, I I was a kid. I was a kid living in fucking middle of Chicago, playing basketball in an alleyway with, with Hispanics, with blacks, and it didn't matter. We were just playing ball. It didn't fucking none of us. None of us looked anything differently. Right. None of us acted differently towards each other nothing we were kids we were playing ball we were using a fucking milk crate that had a hole in it and as a fucking hoop and we were just having fun it did not matter outside that we were kids having fucking a, a game i just don't like how 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 are you programmed 
how are you programmed that you see anything else? This isn't like all the people that I guess not all of them, but I mean, listen, I've always said this. We'll never get rid of hate. We'll never get rid of racism. We'll never get rid of evil. It's just not going to happen. That means we're in a perfect world and that shit doesn't happen. Right. We have greed. We have power issues. We have fucking assholes that run this country. Yeah. We e- have assholes even, that run other countries. Even if like, we were to, to get rid of what we see as racism now, we, something it, it else would, tra- would take over. It would transfer. It would just transfer yeah. to something else. Xenopho- like, xenophobia is the real, like, the real term, right? It's the fear of other things. And like right. other people and other, right. other, you know, anything other than yourself. Right. Um, and if, if, you know, if, you know, we have our fucking Star Trek moment and we meet a, a benevolent fucking, you know, alien species. Right. People would start hating them. Of course. They're but not you know from what's Earth. Up, but you know what's fucked up? And, and here's the thing. And here's what's fucking crazy to me. Right. So at first we would be like, fuck, you know, we got to protect ourselves from this. But there's always going to be that same group that hates on you know, different ethnicities, they would still do the same thing. They yeah. would take advantage of the situation mm-hmm. to do worse. I mean, they already do bad, so about just as bad, but, like, they wouldn't have to worry about it as much. Yeah. It's just, it's... It's it's a true... It's hard, man. It's, like, it's just, like, I, I watched the video, and I just, I was disgusting. I just, I, like... And, you know, it wasn't just a, it wasn't just white police officers. There was clearly the Asian guy that was, you know, holding the crowd back and stuff like that. And it's just, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I don't, I don't fucking get it. I don't, I don't understand. Like if, if there's people, if there's bystanders, right? Bystanders telling you, Hey, the man can't fucking breathe. Right. Check his pulse. A woman comes up, says she's a firewoman. She's off duty. She's telling you to check his fucking pulse. She's telling you to get off of him. Just like for the sake of, hey, I don't want to kill this dude on camera. Right. Let right. me check his pulse. At the very least. At the and the absolute fact that they're, and the fact, very the least. Fact, like, hey, I don't want to be recorded killing this guy. Bro, Let me check bro, his pulse. Bro, and the fact that their answer was he's a danger danger to what there's four of you with guns and they he's said he's handcuffs. talking he's fine oh he's talking he's fine Fuck yeah you. he sure sounded fine yeah and he here's the like thing a man who's there's, so there's, for his there's, life. so i know there's an excuse that always going to be thrown out well they're human that's not an excuse nope. when you're a police they're officer. officers it's different the minute here's the thing the minute and i will argue against anybody who says this the minute you choose to be a police officer, you have to understand 100% that you're mentally prepared to handle the shittiest of shittiest situations. You have to be able to control your even... fucking emotions. You have to be able to fucking yep. control your thinking matter. Like, you cannot, you cannot use the excuse, I'm human, I fucked up, I was in distress. No, bitch, you don't get that. No, you don't get to be in you want, you want to be in you Your want job to be is to be there. Enforcement? Yeah. You want to be in law enforcement? You got to be a fucking straight as a fucking arrow. You got to be, you got to fucking be able to react properly to any situation. That's not a fucking excuse for you. And if you can't do that, guess what? That's not your job. You move on. You do something else. Sorry. That's just, that's just fucking how it is, man. I, I, I will not accept that as a fucking answer. Especially... Especially if you have other human beings that are not in trouble telling you to fucking stop doing what you're doing. If you can't accept that information outside of the man that's telling you he can't breathe and he's dying, then there's a problem with you. And you mm-hmm. should never have had that job. And the fact that we don't have proper fucking precautions to check for that, that's a problem on its own. It's despicable. It's despicable. I just, it, I it, feel, we have all I these feel, situations where you have... You have like uh, what was it Vegas a few years ago? Not a few years ago at this point. Fuck, this has been going on for so long. But uh, Vegas, good. you know, I think this was when, not Charlottesville, but the. It was right after, right after the last time a guy got killed by the police asking for breath. Um, um Las Vegas did a program where they re-educated their fucking like police force right and police murders i'm gonna call them what they are police murders went down down. by 30 percent. yeah 
Yeah, man. I mean, it, I mean, it sounds like this is an education problem. This is oh, a I mean, we are listen, teaching listen, we are listen, teaching listen. police officers that hey, in this neighborhood or you know south of this street, you know if somebody's wearing this or if they look like this, you gotta you gotta treat them a little more aggressively. Listen, man, and that's fucking idiotic. Hundred percent. Uh, there's a training issue here, hundred percent. For this man that was on his neck, there's this, a different issue. Listen, here. he this he man, started. This was a this was a twofold thing. He abused his power. He did not think about the fact that he was dealing with a human being. Hey, he did not think about that he was dealing with a nonviolent offender. Like this dude didn't right. beat up someone. Yeah. This dude didn't yeah, like, yeah, rob no. somebody. Yeah, no, he got called on for a possible fraud check. Possible. Like it it, it genuinely upsets me. The fact, like this, this, the the degrees to which this failed in every possible way, in every possible way. Like, I'm just trying he was to think here. I'm fucking just trying, handcuffed. Bro, I'm just trying to think here. Okay, so one officer, right? One fucking cop, clearly out of his mind. He doesn't know. He, it's not no, just a training lost, problem. He's, he's just his reality. Yeah, yeah. He's he's he's, he's not even there. in this he reality. Was, he was waiting for. He, he was looking so, for our next victim. His only right. reaction. Oh, yeah. His oh, yeah, only yeah, for reaction sure. was to reach for his fucking pepper spray to attack somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Fuck so, that so that man's on a whole different mental uh, issue. So, okay, we know what's his problem. There's another cop. He's Asian. And uh, he's got an issue, too, because he's trying to hold off bystanders that are not doing anything wrong except trying to tell you fucking guys to not kill a man. Right. Um, so there's that. Uh, so something's wrong with him outside of his training. Uh, and clearly he's the other guy. So those are the two cops that had issues with having uh, complaints about them. Mm. Uh, the white dude had way more than the Asian dude. Yeah, but regardless, like or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But then what the fuck is the excuse for the other two cops? Yeah, who were that holding has this man be, down. That has to that has to be bad training because at the end of the day, uh, listen, even if at least off, two of them hand, are racist. Offhand, they were like, they were, they weren't able to hear the man begging for his life. Just the, like, let's just give them let's, that. Oh my fucking God. I mean, fine, I guess. But fine. Why the fuck does it take three people to hold down a man in his forties? Bro. I just, I truly, I just, and you know, it's, it's like, what do you say? Right. What do, what do you say? And here's the thing. So you say, put those motherfuckers in a, in a, in a dark room. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. In that, in that sense, I mean, dude, I, dude, you know how crazy I would go. I'm a fucking psychopath when it comes down to fucking hideous evil like this. I, I have no remorse for what I would do to them, but here's the thing, right? So people are saying, go out there and do something. Here's the thing. I, I cannot. I've always said this. I cannot help people until I'm figuring my shit out. Right. And I right. haven't figured my shit out yet. I haven't. I'm, I'm still trying to figure my shit out. I have issues of my own that I need to figure out before I can start helping others. But I, I have done a few things that I can. One, I, I told my my buds, my uh, my guys that, you know, are of that ethnicity. Um, I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't know what else to say, but. I am sorry. I, I have no words for this. I, I this is pure evil, and I, you know, I, that I, I was truly speechless. I didn't know what to say to them outside that I cannot believe it's 2020 and we're still dealing with this shit. Right. <clears throat> I also signed a petition on Change.org for uh, they wanted three million signatures to um, get proper justice for George. Uh, they wanted. Um, they, you know, they they want a proper. They don't just firing them ain't the proper justice. It ain't. No. Period. No. Sorry, if, homie. Because if they get fired, enough. they can go somewhere else and still be police officers. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Them. No. Fuck that. No. Um. So that's not the proper justice. So I signed that, <clears throat> and I wanted to do this podcast because it's the only other thing that I could do that as a white male, uh, to at least if anybody listens to this, get some kind of understanding why this is wrong. Okay. I don't give a shit. Once again, what your skin color is not in no way, shape or form does this action is acceptable in any form. I don't care if it was a white dude, if it was a Hispanic, an Asian or a black man or even a female. This kind of mentality, this kind of action towards somebody is completely 
unacceptable. I don't know how many times we have to say it. I don't know how many times you have to watch the fucking video. The man was in handcuffs. He couldn't have been a danger to a fucking child. There was four officers around him, and he was in handcuffs. If he tried anything, he would have been down within a second. Within a second. So The only person he could have potentially hurt is himself. Right. So, at the end of the day, if you don't understand what is wrong with this, there is something wrong wrong with you yeah and i've i've i saw somebody oh man uh i think it was who made a post ludicrous or somebody somebody i follow on instagram made a post and a reply to one of the posts was if he didn't break the law he wouldn't have died if uh, you don't understand what's wrong with your statement, what the fuck? you need to go help, get help. I'm telling you right now, you can hate me all you want, but if you don't understand what's wrong with that, yeah, I don't care who you are. No matter what, outside of killing somebody, I'm not, like I said, I'm outside of rape, purposeful rape, or, I mean, there's no accidental rape there's rape and and murder right purposeful murder there's there's you know accidental murder with a car and stuff like that and that sucks and that that's a whole different conversation but i'm talking about mentally purposely murdering somebody premeditated murder and rape those two things are never like those are the only ways i accept somebody like a cop shooting somebody that's that's the only way because you chose to kill somebody or you chose to take away this person's life by raping them because that's literally going to be on their head the whole time. It is, it is my never genuine gonna opinion that. that if you were to catch some, like if you were a police officer and you catch someone in the process of raping someone or in the process of murdering someone, uh, you get f- like, go nuts. Yeah, free reign. Go nuts. Free reign. But outside of that, there's nothing else you could possibly do to warrant that action. Dude, you... I don't think... And I know this is a shitty way to say this, so I'm not trying to insult anybody, but I'm pretty sure we don't even do... uh, You know, when we slaughter animals to eat them, I'm pretty sure we don't do it like that. Like, we don't do anything as bad as that. We end them quickly. That man suffered. The man suffered. He could not breathe. I don't know if you understand, but like suffocation is probably one of the shittiest way of fucking dying. No, fuck, fuck that, dude. It, like, it I is just thoroughly, thoroughly, if, genuinely if, upset. If anybody's listening to this, I pray to God somebody is listening to this because, because our, our guys, you know, they they rep- well, Darius replied to me and he said, you know. The, you know, the best thing you can do is, you know, just as a white male, just tell people, you know, talk to people, uh, explain to them, you know, your thinking, because your thinking is not the normal thinking. And I, I know that, you know, not to be a fucking dick, but like, I'm not going to go out of my way right now, uh, you know, to rallies and stuff. Like, that. like I said, I got my own shit to figure out. So like that kind of time to go do that is not something that I will think about doing. But if I can do a video like this, if I could sign a petition, if I can have my voice somehow be heard, and listen, the internet is a fucking big world, and if this video can be seen and spread around, it needs to be. Because, listen, and I, I'm not preaching something here. Neither one of us is preaching something here that's fucking not common We're not sense. reinventing the fucking wheel here. We're not, this is not, for, this is literal common sense. Uh, you don't treat human beings like they're fucking worse than animals, dude. Literally. What the fuck, man? I just... It's insane to me. It's insane to me, and I just don't understand it anymore. And sometimes, like I said, it just feels like... You know, like I, like I, like I met, left them a message uh, on the WhatsApp. I said, you know, I mean, sometimes... I feel like shit like the COVID-19, you know, the human race deserves it, man. Oh, yeah. I know it sucks oh, to say. I know it sucks to say. We deserve it. But 
fuck, man. Maybe we deserve it, man. Maybe maybe that's what needs to happen because we're just we fuck shit up. Yeah, there there's a so a weird and what's and what sucks? What sucks is okay. So you know you got these protesters that are trying to fucking grab people's attention, but then you got these fucking looters and and fucking rioters that are taking advantage of this and then destroying everything. Right. And it's like it fucking sucks because they're trying to get a good message across, but then and people are even saying people of color are saying, "Listen, guys, we we love the protest, but." hurting people destroying businesses like that's not the answer like you're just being just as bad as them and it's not the answer i get the frustration i get the madness dude i'm fucking frustrated and i'm not black but i'm frustrated because i just watched a human being being treated worse than a fucking animal like it makes me want to kill everything it really does like that's the best way i can fucking put it but the answer isn't go hurt other people right. go hurt their businesses go hurt their like that's not the answer man but we the voices do need to be heard sometimes i don't know sometimes i'm like maybe fucking shit's gotta burn before you know people will fucking really pay attention yeah. but at the same time like i know this isn't the protesters that are doing this it is you know it is looters and rioters that are doing it's, this dude it's the same it, it is there is legitimate concerns to kind of go back to what we were saying earlier regarding covid right people want right. to people want to reopen and all that shit like right. there, there is evidence. Well, there was before they they blocked it, <laughs> but there was evidence that, he, like all those reop reopen Minnesota, reopen Florida, like those movements, the organizations, mm -hmm. um, they were started by by uh, Russian people. The websites are owned by Russians. Shocker. So yeah, you got talked into some shit by Russians, and now you're out there threatening people, like. This is like rioters in these things. People who are who are looting, those are not the protesters. No, they're not. That's the difference. Like people don't see the. And what's 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 weird to me is how do people not understand that? You know how many people are out there like, oh, so this is your answer? I'm like, no, this is actually people not their stupid. answer. Because people are stupid. Because people generally are stupid. Just like Tommy Lee Jones said in, in Men in Black, a person is smart. People are stupid. That's like. Like you can have a smart person who will understand every side and be fully aware of the situation, and then you put that one smart person in a in a room of a hundred people. He's he's he or she is outclassed. There's if it's a hundred people that have oh, yeah. all have their own opinions, yeah. they're not listening to that one dude. Yeah, man. I just it's it's so it's it's heartbreaking. It's 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 sometimes hard to fandom that. This is the human race. This is, this is what we amount to sometimes, you yeah. know. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, man. There's not really an answer for it. There's just, there's not a lot. You know, you can vent and say all you want, but at the end of the day, it's just words. It's just like you'll never change the people that do this shit. They. You know, there's there's good people and there's bad, but unfortunately, the bad seem to be the real loudest ones. Yeah, that's what fucking sucks. Very true. Sad but true. Uh, before we finish mm -hmm. uh, on that shitty note, let's go to just one more shitty note, but not as not as shitty, but still pretty shitty. Okay. Uh, uh, so Donald Trump. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump wants to silence social media because you oh, know yeah. they're. They're silencing his ass, but he's the one that's – he can't be mad when he's providing false information. Like, he is lying to people. That is – literally should be silenced. But it's but it's his free speech, Hottis. It's his free uh, it speech. It doesn't matter if it's free speech if you're lying to people who, you know, you run, essentially. Mm -hmm. But the... uh, you are lying. You are providing false this, you should go to jail the, for lying this, to the is, president. this is where and this is where especially I, to that extent i'm not talking about like my dick was sucked and i'm lying no 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 yeah, i'm yeah. talking about no, like, no, no, no. you're lying about how voting it right. would work if, no if you're and, then, and this is and this is where this is where i get into confusing territory because the statement that him or somebody made uh they shouldn't be treated 
like a platform if they're going to do editorial. And that's what they did. They created, they did an editorial piece and they, they marked his post as needing further clarification and then provided that further clarification, which then, yes, while being correct and accurate information, makes them no longer a platform. They are a, they are a publisher and then they have different rules. And that's, that's what he's trying to get at. And it's, it's why Facebook is trying really, really hard to stay out of that because they don't want to lose that status. They don't want to lose the, 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 the platform status. Yeah, but here's the problem, right? So if we allow that shit, then the idiots that are already in this world will just believe what he says, even though his information is a uh, pure and blatant they're go- lie. They're going to believe that anyway. That's true. We just did get done talking about how they won't change their mind regardless if you provide them with the accurate information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they the, the people that are going to believe that are going to believe it regardless. There are, There is a very... I would say very, very minuscule minority of people that, let's say they're Trumpers, yeah. but like provided the right information would change their minds because they were provided accurate information and not just like the same shit their their family's been parodying right. in their ear. Right. And that I think right. that the, the percentage of people that is willing to make that change in their head is very so small. very tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's very small. I mean, but it's it's it's. I think it's a slightly larger percentage of people that are that are typically liberals that would be willing to listen to other things because there's also very hardline liberals. There are people that are just like, I'm going to vote Democrat regardless. Right. Like all the people that one week are like, Joe Biden's fucking creepy. He might have raped a woman. <laughs> and the next week are like, I'm voting for Joe Biden, though. Let's not be – let's not fucking make any mistakes here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, listen. Well, like, listen, I mean... it's one or the other. And that's what I'm saying. Like, mo- a lot of people are there, and there's a lot of people who are like, I'm voting for fucking Trump, regardless of – I don't care if he pissed on a fucking Russian whore. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like this – this, the, the, there are those people who are just going to do that. I know, I know we just got that. done out of a serious conversation, but that was just uh... – that was but just, like, yeah, I there had, are people had, on both ends. That's like you know, that's that spectrum. Yeah, yeah. They're out there. They're at the edge, and that's what I was saying. I, I got rid of that dude on Facebook because he's over there. He's on oh that my right God, side. Dude, he he's is never, bro, ever, ever going to change. Shit, like bro, he, he um, was so closed off to all potential. And I mean, like not even in these conversations, but like even just in like normal conversations. Like about movies and shit. I forget. Like there was something that I was talking about that wasn't about that wasn't about like politics. It was just like about normal shit. Right. And he like had this hardline stance about it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, how are you not even willing to see like the potential? And he's like, like he's like the customers that I have that just don't want to believe that how you use a thing affects how the battery performs. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just like, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. The, spec, the specs say it's supposed to last this long. And I'm like, right, but that's like for people who don't do what you do. Also, also, <laughs> yeah, I love that. I had to actually I had a dude, explain I had a dude that was like, my, I, my, he's like, my, he's my, dude, like my, my phone only lasts 37 minutes or some shit like that. I was yeah, like, yeah. wow, that's crazy. I was like, what, what do you normally do? He's like, I'm playing Roblox and I'm like, bruh, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I had, I had a, I had a customer that was, um, using Google Chrome and, um, and doing something else. I forgot. Uh, there was one other thing that would have been, uh, using a battery. Right. And they were like, uh, you know, it's only lasting. I asked, I was like, how much, how long would you say it's lasting? It's like, oh, six hours. I'm like, six hours? Shit, that's not bad. That's pretty solid. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking in my head. But then I go to the specs and I'm like, oh, it says 11 hours if you do this and 11 hours right. or, in, or 10 hours if you do this, 11 hours if you do this. But then I scroll down and I'm like, oh, okay. So here's the thing. If you go down, 
see how it says it had these specs in it, and so you already have a better system, so that's going to use up more resources, right. going to use more, more battery life. So actually, you're not going to get that battery life. Also, at the same time, you're not using the the things that it says they were using to achieve right. those hours. So right. you're you got have so, yeah. so six hours actually pretty damn right. good. at full volume. Like yeah, that's, that's gonna, that's gonna yeah, but no, nobody nobody wants to like no 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 no. That's not there's, how it works. It's like no, that is complete, exactly how it works. There's a complete lack of personal responsibility in oh, yeah, most lies. things. And it's Bro. it's truly despicable. Like, Bro, I could have been easily mad at Toshiba for my hard drive crapping. No, it's my personal responsibility that I didn't fucking turn off the hard drive before we had power outage. Like, right. Like it's I fucked up. It's it's a lack of. It's just a lack of fucking personal responsibility. It's so sad. Like it's so fucking sad to me, because it's like. Again, this is this is gonna turn you know this whole this whole, uh, uh police thing this whole Minnesota thing is gonna turn into. Yeah. Into oh how the system is you know how the, the training and it's gonna no that man is evil that yeah, man is dude, evil that, and I that, would hang dude, him the off dude the that fucking murdered, police the dude, rafters if I could bro bro the dude that murdered another man that man has nothing to do with training did you see his face cold. blank expression cold, cold. he wasn't Done. there he didn't he wasn't there. The only time his face expression changed was when he went for the mace because so he thought somebody else was coming at him. That's it. And that was for a quick quick second. Then it went to cold again. That man has nothing to do with training. That man's gone. Yeah. Some that, guy not, that guy's not even here. And it's very, and you know, it's going to turn, like, if it turns out, like, oh, like, there's some shit going on at home. But, like, there, it just feels like they're going to try to find a way to get them off. No, and... I, I know they will because they're police officers and the law has to protect the law, right? That's how shit works. But at the end of the day, bro, you do that. I do not blame Minneapolis. Anybody. Listen, if, I... if they don't charge them, Minneapolis deserves everything that fucking comes to it. I'm telling you right now, bro, I, I do not blame whatever the city, happens. The government, after they, just, that. they deserve everything that comes after that decision. Whatever whatever happens after that, that's all on not just that city, not just that state, but the government itself. That is, and I'm talking about the government that, that's Washington, D.C., like that motherfucking, like if, if they get, and dude, the FBI is in this, so... If they don't file charges for murder, bro, it's done. Whatever happens, whatever happens, I'll be like, yep. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, you, oh, everything's burning down? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As it fucking should be. If Look, murder one, fucking murder, murder two, maybe manslaughter for the other three. But... Uh, I mean, listen, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how all that works, right? For the main guy, top murder charge, whatever the fuck it is, and you add on years. I don't give a shit. That guy's and I think I think, in, I think he gets and while twenty years. He per doesn't minute. leave jail. Here's the thing: he doesn't leave jail. No, in there's no, jail, there's no, no, there's no. In jail, he needs to see a psychiatrist. In jail, not at a psych ward. Mm -hmm. In jail, no. He sees a psychiatrist because that motherfucker's fucked. Or he sees, uh, or he sees Bubba. <laughs> whichever yeah man I like, mean, whatever that man's just fucked uh the other dude that uh, the asian guy that also has uh, uh complaints on his name uh definitely uh a harsher charge than maybe the other two but the other two i mean whatever accomplices get or whatever they were they complied with murder they were part yeah. of it 100%. period they were they could have easily said hey man get off of him fucking people are saying to get off of him he's in cuffs like, I don't give a shit if that's your brother in blue. I don't care. No. Something's wrong there. You get him the fuck no. off. I was and... watching I was watching TikTok, and there was this uh, this police officer who was like, there were fucking four of you. Yeah. Four of you. Like, how? How in any world did you need to keep him down with a knee to his fucking neck? Four, dude. I don't need a cop to tell. I don't need a cop on TikTok to tell me that was fucked up. There was four of them. Dude, he was in handcuffs. I could get he wasn't four, going anywhere. I could have gotten four high schoolers to watch that man, and he wouldn't have done nothing. I'm saying, man, what the fuck, bro? I just <sighs> fuck, man. This whole world, man. I mean, listen. Here's the thing. Uh, I know we're in this country, but it's not just always happening in this country. It just seems to be very bad in this country. Um, yeah. 
but uh, I know it happens in a lot of other places, and uh, it's just fucking unfortunate. Yeah, man. it's just different. Just, it's different colors, and it's different. Uh, yeah, for belief sure, systems, man. And I mean, it's whatever you know, whatever you can, whatever reason you can find as an evil person to kill someone. I just uh, don't. People get it, find man. it. I just don't get it, dude. I don't understand the mentality. I don't. I mean, I guess that's a fucking good thing, but you know, it's like, it's not. You know me, man. I always want to like figure something out, right? If it doesn't make sense, I got to figure it out, and I can't figure this out. Like, I mean, I get it. There's something wrong in their head, but that's not like I need more than that. I need that's not enough to me because, like, I need more. How, I need to like, know what is fucked up know? in there. Yeah. Also, yeah. How did he pass any tests? Like, like, there's no mental. There's no mental they, tests. When I you feel go? like there is a lack, and again, this goes back to. This goes back to training, and well, we, need, yeah. we need what we need is continued training. We need motherfuckers oh God, to be bro. tested regularly. Tested regularly. I mean, you've you've heard one of my tests. One test for sure. You get an undercover police officer. Day one. Right, a male and a female. They're driving a car. Fuck it. They're both black. I don't give a fuck. Right, day one. I mean, that like would that one. would work the best. That would work the best. Yeah. But it's got to be day one. It's the first first day one. Out. You you set up the rookie with their uh, with their training officer. They pull over that car, right? Full of two undercover detectives, undercover cops, undercover. You know what are the guys that investigate IA. police officers? I yeah, internal affairs. And um, you pull them over. You mention. That you might have a weapon, but you do have a license. See how he reacts. See how he reacts. That's it. If he reacts wrong, goodbye. There's no more training for that. That's just, that's no. it. You no, failed the test. Yeah, you failed the basic test of being able to keep your shit calm. Yeah, you saw two black individuals. They Somebody mentioned they might have a weapon, but they have a, but you didn't hear the part where they have a license for it. You didn't listen. You you already lost. You 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 visually lost because you accepted what was in front of you, and that's that's it. Yeah. You you saw the person, you heard the weapon, and that's it. Your mind lost. You're not ready. You're you're never meant to be a cop. No. I mean, training for sure. Uh, there's got to be some psych training, man. Because, like psych I said, evolved. you watch that, need, dude. You watch. How are there not annual psych evals for all police I, stations? I do I, not get it. I do not know either, bro. You watch that video, and it's a shitty video to watch, dude. It, it makes you sick to your... If you're a normal human being, it makes you sick to your stomach. Mm -hmm. I literally wanted to throw up. But when you watch and you see that man's expression, he's cold. Yeah. Just fucking no... Nothing like it was a fucking Sunday afternoon. It honestly, it honestly looked like the dude was having like an out of body experience. Hundred percent. He like he wasn't there. He wasn't there. Or or if he was, he has no empathy. He has no he has no emotional maturity to like no like like how I did believe, he make it this far in life? Yeah, I believe that's how uh, uh, psychopaths are created. <laughs> like. Um, so no, uh, yeah, man, I just, um, uh, I had to talk about it. I had to, I, I knew like we haven't done a podcast in a while and this was just something just too much weighing on my mind chest, that, man. uh, that, that needed to be said. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many people will listen. I don't know how many, but it just needs to be heard, man. Um, it's, um, fuck man. It's just, uh, there's just, just no proper words for it man it's it's like it's crazy to think about and it's 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 for me it's hard i mean this has to probably do with my condition that i can't stop thinking about it because that's you right. know when you, anybody who has depression understands you start fucking really focusing on negatives you you fucking get stuck on that negative and you can't get away from it and this is a very uh very big fucking negative uh yeah. this is about as uh about as negative as it gets. Uh, uh, but yeah, literally. I mean, I, I don't think it gets worse than this. I, I don't know how it gets outside of fucking somebody just bombing everybody. I, I don't know how how it gets worse than this, man. It's just 
like literal literal disregard yeah. for a human being and it's just it's crazy man. but we could keep saying that all day long and it'll be the same thing over and over so any last words dude any any anything else you want to bring up outside this dark fucking conversation nah man nah nothing Nothing that would make it better. That's the fucking problem. Yeah, that's a fucking yeah. That's a big problem. That's the fucking problem. There, th- the, this it's not the first time. It sadly will not be the last time. It sure as fuck won't. And it just feels like the people who can do something about it don't. That's don't what's crazy to. to me. That's. I think that makes me more upset. Yeah. I think that makes me more like hearing that news today on Philip DeFranco's when he showed that judge talking on the podium saying like, you know, it it was messed up and it was horrifically wrong. But I have to take in consideration of other evidence that if this was a uh, outside, uh, uh, if this was criminal in any way, and I just don't know if I'm seeing it. I'm like, what? Like. When I heard that, I just, I was like, first of all, I'm already disgusted. But what are you talking about? Right. What does that mean? Like, what, what are you seeing? Like, are you seeing something completely that nobody else is seeing? Because. Right. You got, you, you are not watching the same video I'm watching. If you think that there is anything not criminal happening. Yeah. And it's just that, and that makes it even crazier. So like you said, people that have the power mm-hmm. to this could to, be this could be there's no way to make example. this right there's no way to make this right no, but it could be an example and it's not going to be but that's right but it does need to be an example you need to it, it, listen it, it, it is eerily eerily and like instead of beating them up and leaving them alive they killed this man yeah but it is eerily playing out like the Rodney King situation from 92. Yeah. I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, but no, it's four it, cops involved. It's, I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right. It, it, it's, it's, they might not get charged. And if they don't get charged, oh, we are bro. probably going to see some race riots again. And it's, Oh bro. It's, it's going to be deserved. If they don't get charged, I think that state is fucked, if not a lot of states. Like. And I wouldn't blame anybody. I. Except I except for the people even, that didn't take the proper I wouldn't action. even be mad at, like, if that man got killed on the street. Dude, I wouldn't blink an eye. Nope. He kick, got murdered. No shit. Kick him into the dumpster. I don't give a shit. He's not gonna get a barrier, right? <laughs> You're just gonna just gonna put him in the trash, right? Like it's just, yeah, man. I I I play I pray I pray I I'm not even fucking religious, but I do pray that there's correct justice behind this. I hope they figure something out, man. I really do. There fucking has to be. There just it. it there's so many. I think almost every time, if I'm right, and I don't remember, I'm sorry, I apologize that I do not remember all the cases around this kind of stuff. But if I'm correct, every time a police officer was involved in something like this, they got away with just losing their job. Yeah. Yeah, I I still think we are. I'm pretty sure nobody actually went to jail for murder. Yeah, I'm pretty. Whoops. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are still on zero accountability for uh, for. Don't switch to shit. Uh, let's see. I, I'm Cases. pretty sure we are. I'm pretty sure that we are right now. There's been zero accountability Police. for any shit. of the shit that's happened. Cases. And if this goes with no accountability, with no proper justice. I don't have a fucking a. I literally I saw um ah, hold on I think there was the first Oh yeah there was yeah what did he get a year since 2005 oh, this is an NBC mm-hmm. this is an NBC news 
Since 2005, research shows that only 35 officers have been convicted to a crime related to an on-duty shooting. And this is as of March last year. Jesus. 35. And I wonder what they and were each charged year, for. And each year in the United States, somewhere between 900 and 1,000 yeah, people yeah. are shot and killed by the police. Yeah. So out of, that would have been 15 years. So out of 15,000 dead, even if we were to say 50% were justified, and I feel like that's a huge Only estimate. 39, what was it? 30, 35. 36? 35. 35. 35. 35 out 30. of let's say out of let's say seven and a half thousand cases but okay so 35 but out of the last ones that have been very notable mm -hmm. about the murders for uh um black people or i think one of them was hispanic i believe um I don't think any of those got charged in the more recent years that we've had this issue you know uh, what i don't think what everything is I'm pretty sure none of them have been charged. I think they've lost their jobs, but I don't think none of them have been charged. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think there is. I don't think so. I just. I, uh, I think there might have been one. I, I seem to recall one. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it wasn't this is, a, a significant charge. About, uh, in Florida, family and activists in general police. Former police officer in a shooting. Black motor, black motorist, yeah. So this was this was March twenty, March twenty nineteen. Yeah. So this ha this that I remember that. Yeah, Corey Jones. But um, yeah. If there's no proper justice for this, then um, whatever happens happens. Yeah, man. There's just no way around it. <laughs> They need, no, I feel they need... I feel bad for anybody that I know that's that's a friend that's black. I feel the the fact that they have to fucking go through this, and uh, it just seems like the people, that, people can like do that moron about... that I got rid of today that uh, don't get it. They just don't get it. Oh yeah, no, they don't get it. But I mean, I'm just saying it's just that they have to keep going through this, and the people that can't do something about it, they have the power that see the shit we're seeing. Bail these motherfuckers out. All the time. I mean, if that doesn't show you a fucking corrupt system, I don't know what the fuck else will. Yeah. 100%. That's... <sighs> on that somber note, I think we're going to On that fucking it. note. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching. Thank, Thank you, you guys for listening. for listening. Thank you guys for Uncle Peter for being here. Uh, I we don't had, know we have quite a here, few but... uh, watchers and listeners. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, we had I appreciate quite a few that. people Thank you showing for up. Watching. So, um, it's it's you know it's we do appreciate. I know it's a tough subject. I know it's a hard subject. I know uh, I know everybody has their own opinion. I know everybody has uh, different views, but some some things you can't just there's just some things we all have to agree on, and there's there is an understanding of right and wrong and. I just, you couldn't even possibly convince me of the right here. Facts. I, I don't care what your argument is. This is not a single-minded thing. This is not a, like, I can't see both views. There's, I There don't is no care. other view on this. I'm sorry. I don't care. I'm There's sorry, no but I'm not sorry. Here. I've seen, I've seen plenty of the footage that was provided to see that there's no possible way this man was in any way he harmful to he was anybody he at, was the, at that danger. point. He wasn't a threat, he wasn't a danger, and he damn sure wasn't resisting arrest. Damn sure wasn't. So, But I appreciate, if anybody's watching, if anybody is listening after the fact, uh, you know, if you're if you're listening on any of the platforms or watching this on the YouTube, please, you know, share around. Let people see it. Let people hear about it. I mean, I know people are talking about it regardless. I mean, we're nobodies compared to, uh, you know, a lot of other people that are out there talking about this. But uh, at the same time, maybe, I don't know. I mean, like... Our buddy said, Darius, Darius said, like, you know, you're a white male that has this thought process and this is not a normal thought process and just go tell people. And so if this is the way I can tell people or we can tell people, then, um, you know, share it, tell people, you know, show up, show our video. You know, I don't care for the growth. I don't care for uh, any of that bullshit. I just want people to fucking see that 
whatever anybody else is thinking at the moment. It ain't. It should. It shouldn't be anything else but the fuck that this was wrong. Like, Hundred percent. This was. This was human on human crime, and uh, if there's no justice for this, then I don't. I don't have an answer for this world. I think this world is completely fucked if there's no justice for this. Period. So. End of story. But. I do appreciate anybody who is watching and, and, and listening to the message and understanding, um, you know, I, you know, we do always appreciate that. And a lot of times our conversations can be deep, but I think this is about as deep and dark as it's going to get. For sure. Uh, you know, we, we normally talk movies. We normally talk games. We normally talk, you know, usually fun stuff, sometimes a little deeper stuff, uh, but murder and and justice that's usually not a topic and uh it needed to be so um but yeah that's gonna be it for this one again thank you for listening thank you for watching and uh see you guys next week